In today's video, I am going to discuss the sum and difference rule of differentiation. The derivative of a sum or difference of the two functions is the sum or difference of the derivatives of the two functions. The derivative with respect to x of the sum or difference of two functions f of x and g of x is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative with respect to x of f of x and the derivative with respect to x of g of x which is equal to f prime x plus minus g prime x. In order to further understand the sum and difference rule of differentiation, let us do some problems. So they have given y is equal to 3x to the power 4 plus x square minus 1. They have asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x. In the solution, we will write down dy by dx, that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y. Now in place of y, I'm going to write down 3x to the power 4 plus x square minus 1. The derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivatives of the individual functions. So the derivative with respect to x of the sum or difference of the three functions in this case is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions. Derivative with respect to x of the first function plus derivative with respect to x of the second function minus derivative with respect to x of the third function. The first term is a constant times a function. The derivative of constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. So the derivative with respect to x of 3x to the power 4 is equal to 3 times the derivative of x to the power 4. The second term is a power function. The derivative of a power function x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. So the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x 2 minus 1. The last term is a constant function. The derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. So the dx of 1 is equal to 0. Derivative with respect to x of x to the power 4 is equal to 4 x 4 minus 1 plus 2 x. Now 2 minus 1 is 1. So it is equal to 2 x. 3 times 4 equals 12 x to the power 4 minus 1 is 3 plus 2 x. So the final answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 12 x cubed plus 2 x. Let us look at the next problem. They have given y is equal to 3 x cubed plus 7 x square minus 9 x plus 20. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of 3 x cubed plus 7 x square minus 9 x plus 20. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual function. So we have derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function minus the third function plus derivative of the fourth function. The first term is a constant times a function. Derivative of a constant times a function is equal to the constant times the derivative of the function. So the derivative with respect to x of 3x cubed is equal to 3 times the derivative of x cubed plus the second term is also a constant times a function. The derivative with respect to x of 7x square is equal to 7 times the derivative of x square minus again the third term is also a constant times a function. The derivative with respect to x of 9x is equal to 9 times the derivative of x plus the derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. So the derivative of constant 20 is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to x of x cubed is equal to 3x to the power 3 minus 1 plus 7 
the derivative of x to the power 2 is equal to 2x 2 minus 1 minus the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 3 times 3 equals 9 x to the power 3 minus 1 equals 2 plus 7 times 2 equals 14 x to the power 2 minus 1 equals 1 minus 9 times 1 equals 9 so the final answer is dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 9x square plus 14x minus 9 let us look at the next problem y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c here a b and c are constant parameter in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y which is equal to d dx of ax square plus bx plus c using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the sum of the three functions is equal to the sum of the derivative of the three functions derivative with respect to x of the first function plus derivative with respect to x of the second function plus derivative with respect to x of the third function now the first term is a constant times a function the derivative of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function so the derivative with respect to x of ax square is equal to a times the derivative of x square plus again the second term is also a constant times a function so the derivative with respect to x of bx is equal to b times the derivative of x plus using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of constant c is equal to zero using the power rule we have a times the dx of x to the power 2 is equal to 2x to the power 2 minus 1 plus b times the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 so we have 2ax plus b times 1 equals b so this is our final answer in the next problem they have given y is equal to 3x square minus 4x to the power 1 by 3 plus x to the power minus 1 by 2 in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y which is equal to d dx of 3x square minus 4x to the power 1 by 3 plus x to the power minus 1 by 2 using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of the three functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions so we have derivative with respect to x of the first function minus derivative with respect to x of the second function plus derivative with respect to x of the third function in the first term using the constant times a function rule we have three times derivative of the function for the second term using the constant times a function rule we have the derivative with respect to x of 4x to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 4 times the derivative of x to the power 1 by 3 using the power function rule we have the derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 x to the power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 using the power function rule we have the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2x to the power 2 minus 1 minus using the power rule we have the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 x to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 now plus times minus is equal to minus 1 by 2 x to the power minus 3 by 2 3 times 2 equals 6 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we can simply write x minus times plus equals minus 4 times 1 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3 x to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 is equal to x to the power minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 x to the power minus 3 by 2 we may also convert the negative exponent of the variable x in these two terms by taking their reciprocal so our final answer is 
6x minus 4 by 3x to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2x to the power 3 by 2. Now let us look at the next problem. They have given y is equal to 5x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 6 root x plus 10. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of 5x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 6 root x plus 10. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual function. So the derivative with respect to x or 5x to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 6 root x plus 10 is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function minus derivative of the third function plus derivative of the fourth function. Now the first term is a constant times a function. The derivative of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. The derivative with respect to x of 5x to the power 4 is equal to 5 times the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 4 plus the second term is also a constant times a function. The derivative with respect to x of 3x to the power 3 is equal to 3 times the derivative of x to the power 3 minus the third term is also a constant times a function plus the derivative of a constant function is equal to 0. So the derivative with respect to x of 10 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 4 is equal to 4x to the power 4 minus 1 plus 3 times. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3x to the power 3 minus 1 minus 6. Now the derivative with respect to x of a square root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. 5 times 4 equals 20. x to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 plus 3 times 3 equals 9. x to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 minus cancelling the numerator and denominator we have 3 by root x. So this is our answer. Let us look at the next problem. They have given y is equal to 7 x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3 by x minus 5 by 3 root x. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y which is equal to d dx of 7 x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3 by x minus 5 by 3 root x. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions. So the derivative with respect to x of 7x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3 by x minus 5 by 3 root x is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function minus derivative of the third function. The first term is a constant times a function. So the derivative with respect to x of 7x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 7 times the derivative of the function x to the power 1 by 2 plus. Now since we do not have a formula to find the derivative with respect to x when the variable x is present in the denominator, we are going to transfer x to the numerator by taking its reciprocal. By taking the reciprocal of 1 by x, we have x to the power minus 1 minus. Now in the third term, if root x is present in the denominator, then using the formula ddx of root x, we will get 1 by 2 root x. However, in this case, root x is present in the denominator. So what we are going to do is that first we are going to convert the expression in root form into an exponential form. Next, we are going to transfer it to the numerator by taking its reciprocal. Using the power function rule we have, derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. Plus, using the constant times a function rule, 
derivative with respect to x of 3x to the power minus 1 is equal to 3 times derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 1 minus by transferring x to the power 1 by 2 which is present in the denominator to the numerator by taking its reciprocal we have 7 times 1 by 2 is equal to 7 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 3 using the power function rule we have derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1 x to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus using the constant times a function rule we have derivative with respect to x of 5 by 3 times x to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to 5 by 3 times dx of x to the power minus 1 by 2 transferring x to the power minus 1 by 2 by taking its reciprocal we have x to the power 1 by 2 plus times minus is equal to minus 3 times 1 is equal to 3 x to the power minus 1 minus 1 is equal to x to the power minus 2 minus 5 by 3 using the power function rule we have derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 x to the power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 again transferring x to the power minus 2 to the denominator by taking its reciprocal we have 3 by x to the power 2 now minus times minus is equal to plus 5 times 1 equals 5 3 times 2 equals 6 x to the power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power minus 3 by 2 again for the third term by transferring x to the power minus 3 by 2 to the denominator by taking its reciprocal we have 5 by 6 x to the power 3 by 2 so our final answer is dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 7 by 2x to the power 1 by 2 minus 3 by x square plus 5 by 6 to the power 3 by 2.